mention biodiversity in Singapore and you get two main types of reactions. Huh? Singapore got biodiversity, man? Or... Oh, you mean the otters at Marina Bay and the hornbills at Jurong Bird Park? Ah? I'm Audrey. I'm Sam Jo. She reports on the environment. And he's a city boy and a self-professed wildlife lover. Yeah, that's true. I love my animals. I think they're so delicious. Yeah. Today, we're going to talk about some of the most interesting species of insects in Singapore. Did you know we have thousands of them here? And these are just the ones that we know of. Is it? If you ask me, there are only two main types of insects in Singapore. Cockroaches and mosquitoes. Not only are they super annoying, they're also ugly. Well, you couldn't be more wrong, Sam Jo. And to tell you exactly how wrong you are, we have an insect scientist from the National University of Singapore. Hi guys. Audrey, you're actually quite right. There are actually 50 to 100,000 species of insects in Singapore alone. Other than just the pests, as you're thinking about, we also have the very charismatic species such as the butterflies and dragonflies. But the more important group of insects, such as the flies, the beetles and the wasps, they actually perform very important ecological functions that support human life. Hmm, okay, but I'm still not convinced eh. Well, I'll tell you what we should do. We should play a game. So I'll show you some pictures of the most unique insects that we have in Singapore. Sam, do you try to guess what they are and Dr. Ang will tell you whether you're right or not. Okay, steady. Let's go. Sam, Joe, are you ready? Yes, I think so. Four of these insects, one of them is different from the other. Which one is the odd one out? I'm sorry, they all look the same to me. Oh, the second one. The second one has like either shorter or no antennae at all. You got it right? Yeah! So this looks like a big scary uh, insect, but it's actually what we call a flower fly. It's completely harmless. It's one of the rarest flies in Singapore. Okay, the previous specimen was found, I'd say 200 years ago, by a very prominent naturalist named Alfred Russell Wallace. Wow. So this is only the second specimen that we've ever found in Singapore, 200 years later. Sam Joe, tell me what you see when you look at this bung over here. This one? Yeah. This big one? Yeah. Um, it looks really scary. It looks like, I don't know, some alien slash Halloween costume slash like, you know, Tochu Opera uh, with the long feelers and everything. If say we see this, right, should we run away from it or should we be no, scared of it? it's completely harmless. Sure, they have uh, quite sharp uh, mouth parts, but they use that not to bite people, but actually to chew a hole into the tree. Wow. Most of the big insects are pretty endangered in Singapore, okay? The habitat has been uh, uh, really reduced to like, I say 2% uh, of what it was. And also with climate change, it doesn't just affect us humans, it affects the insects as well. It affects the entire ecosystem. Sam Jo, can yes. you take a look at this picture? Okay. And tell me what you see. I spy my little eye, a little fly. <laughs> that looks like a house fly and a flea. It does look a bit like a housefly, okay? Uh -huh. It's the size of a housefly, but it's even rarer than the uh, other specimen. All these insects are native to Singapore, but Sam Jo, one of them is now no more. <gasps> so can you guess which one it is? Oh no, you mean like extinct? Yes. Maybe this one over here? It looks like pretty ancient, so maybe it's extinct. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No? This blue one? Yeah, that's the one. Oh no, it's so pretty! It is very pretty. Wow, okay, so it's a sort of beetle, I'm guessing, and honestly, it has this very shiny blue sheen on it. It looks like one of the earrings you have, actually, Audrey. It looks like jewellery. Wow. Okay, these are what we call leaf beetles. Because it's so pretty, they, are, they tend to be very well collected. And also, because of habitat loss, we have not seen uh, a new one for quite some time. So why is it important for us to prevent insects from going extinct? Well, insects are the basis for a lot of what we call ecological uh, functions that support human life. Everything you see that's being decomposed cause fungi and everything, but insects play a very big role. Now, plants need insects to uh, reproduce because of the pollination. A lot of plants, without insects, everything's gone. The plants are, are, are going to be zombie forests because they, they can still survive, but they won't be able to reproduce. Well, that's a wrap for this game of bugs. And I think Samjo did a pretty good job. Yeah, okay, fine. And I, I must say, I stand corrected. You know, who knew that bugs in Singapore and insects are actually can actually be so fascinating and, and quite honestly, beautiful. Well, thank you, Dr. Ang, for, for coming here and sharing your knowledge with us. Hey, Audrey, your ear got a spider here. Firstly, a spider is not an insect. And secondly, this is a hummingbird. It's not a spider. No, I'm serious. There's a spider here, but... Oh, my God! <laughs>